Okay, uh, we're going to look at how to make a very simple clickable TV app prototype in Microsoft PowerPoint. I've got um, some assets in here in a folder, but the best work practice would be to create a document to the target screen. In this case, we're going to make tw 1280 by 720 pixels, and you create all your assets in Photoshop and Sketch, and then you'd export those, and then you would bring those assets into PowerPoint. Now we're gonna show how quick this takes, so I've got a little timer here, I'll start this going. First of all, I need to go down and I need to open up PowerPoint. Okay, once I've opened PowerPoint, the first thing I'll do is go to where it has the design tab. I'm using an Apple Mac on a PC, might be things might be slightly different. But if I go down here to size, I'm gonna make sure it's widescreen. Now the issue with PowerPoint is the screen sizes are basically set up um, to um, being in centimeters, not um, uh, pixel based. So we'll just do that. So basically you just go up here, widescreen, you can go to paid setup and then you can come along and say that on screen and we've got that. If all your assets are the same size, you'll be fine. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is I'll type in uh, a title take a back there uh, once we've got that I can get rid of this bring that down I take that up I'm gonna make my background black so before I do that I'll highlight my text I'll go back to the home and I'll just make my text white it's disappeared then I'll just right mouse click on the background slide select format background um, a panel will appear on the right and I come down here and I make sure oops, I make sure this is black okay now I want some buttons on here these will be my category buttons which will take me to my different video categories um, again you would you know properly design these I've just taken any old image I take it down here I've got an image so you probably have some images tiled up on here that you would use now once I've got that, I click here and over in the format, I can now um, select line and I can say solid line on the, and then I can come along and change it to something like white. You can take how big it is up. Now once I've done that, I can alt. Okay, so once I've got that, I can just copy and paste that move it on and then again paste it so I have three of those elements now you can uh, you know, create as many as you want um, ideally you're going to have four categories on there so you're going to have something like four on there um, so I've got those buttons already uh, I'll just uh, copy and paste them just to give you an idea of you know what it could like if you tile them up now once they're all there done I'll um, we'll just uh, I'm going to link them um, later on to um, other components. Now once I've done that, I will insert another slide. So I come up to the top and do a new slide. Uh, again, I'll just delete these elements. I will give this a black background and I'll just put some text on there. I'll just put... Uh, uh, oh, Put it in white so I come along so I can see it. Or oh, drive.org. Um, put that in. Uh, again, you can, these could be graphic elements that you've brought in and imported. It's up to you, or you could re put them in. Probably might be better to you know, create graphic elements on that. Once I've done that over the other side, I'll just um, copy that. And I'll just put this over the other side. This is just going to dictate uh, what the video is. So I'll just go vid do one, and then ideally probably have it all designed and meet more meaningful. I'll put that up there. I'm going to have some buttons down here, and I'm going to have a video on this page. So 
So first up, um, the first button I'm going to have is the button that takes me back to the uh, very first screen. This is a bit of a tacky button. You'd be just doing it really properly and having a modern feel to it. This just gives you an idea of its functionality more than anything else. So I've got that. I will link this back now. So I right mouse click and go from the pop-up that comes up, uh, hyperlink. And what I want to do is say this document and I want to say first slide and I click OK. So that will take me back to the first slide. Now once that's done, I'm going to create a couple of buttons and I'm going to have these um, linking to my files. But uh, what I will do is I will go to the uh, home there. I need to get some shapes. I think I'll get sort of the rounded shape. I drag that out again. Uh, I'll just type in uh, some information here. I'll put video one on there. Uh, might want to make that a little bit bigger. On there. So I've got that. Then um, I'll just uh, copy that and paste it. Uh, move that down a bit here and then again I'll just change it this color and I'll just change that and say video do and finally copy paste I'll just move this further down here and then this is going to be video 3 okay so I'll need to change the color of that um, what will make it green Okay, so I've got my buttons on there, and again, you know, you can space them appropriately and have them properly designed and everything. Finally, I'll bring in my video. So I'll go back here, and what I will do is click on the insert. I click video, and I say from file. That's very important when you're linking to any of these things is to make sure that... Um, your videos uh, um, are associated in the same folder that you save your your file in so your powerpoint file should be in that folder now i'll just bring in that video it's coming quite large i'll just shrink it down a bit and put it here uh another thing i might want to do is uh, line it up make sure it's all right just on top of that um I might want to put a line around it, so I go solid line, I'll go to white, and I'll just take that up a bit. Okay, so I've got that on there. Um, now once I've done that, I just need to duplicate the slide. So um, again, if I um, right mouse click or control click off it if you're an Apple, and what I need to do is duplicate the slide, uh, puts it here. So once I, I, I've done that, I need to change the uh, videos around. So this one, I'm going to say video two, or you'd put a more meaningful title if you're doing this for real. I get rid of the video that's on there. I drag in my next video. Again, it's coming in quite large. I move it over. If I now uh, put solid line on there, and I just take that up a bit, we'll be able to see it. Ideally, if you have something that starts with a very dark intro, you won't have anything on there. You might need to uh, trim it before you bring it in. Okay, so I've got that on there. And then I'll duplicate again. Right mouse click or control click. And then I bring this through and finally get rid of this video. Uh, drag on my new video which coming in quite large then I move that around I get a solid line take that up a bit and move that into position so it's lining up there and then finally I'm going to call this video three <clears throat> now finally I need to link them all together so I'll go back to my second slide and this one again right mouse click or control click hyperlink this will need to go to this document. So if I click on slide titles, I've got these here. 
So I'm going to have this going to the second slide. Okay. Then this one, um, again, hyperlink. I'm going to slide titles. Um, this is going to number three. And then finally, this one here, again, right mouse or control click, hyperlink from the pop up. I'm going to document slide titles. And this is going to go down to number four and click OK to that. OK, go copy them, go here, paste these in, and then again, get, move on to the next final slide, delete them and paste these in here. Hopefully you should all, you know, be in the same position. Just going to save my presentation. I'm just going to call it a uh, TV app. I'm going to save that in the folder where all my linked videos are. That will save. Now, when I run it, I'll run my video, see what happens. It all opens full screen. I can click through here these uh, videos and come through and I can click here. Okay, that's that, and um, this one here, again. Uh, then I'll click on the home button, that takes me here. These are not links, so I'll just quit out of this. I'll just link one of these to hyperlink. And I'll have it going to the slideshow and just go to the second slideshow and click OK. OK, we'll just give this a final run. Comes along, we click on here. Um, then we can click through all our videos. And again, you can play it. And there we go. Go back to the home. Then we can go back there. All right. This will work on a touch screen as well. That's the joy of it. So you can put it on a large touch screen and it will work. You can do lots more stuff. You can do video um, animations to make it look a little bit more um, exciting. But again, you know, keep it simple. You can have animated components. But if we come back here, uh, we'll just see that's taken about 30 minutes to just uh, uh, create that. So it's really simple once you've got the idea. Make sure certainly when you do these things, certainly PowerPoint or in um, something like Apple Keynote that you, you know, you have the associated linked files there. You could even have them linked using some sort of um, link back like an iframe. But that's how you would do it. Really simple, really straightforward, and just experiment with using it to see what other features you can get.